Hi, welcome to the Newfie Gem 80 review video. You're a real gem, Perry. Yes, I am. What's up, guys? Sauce here. Hope your day is going well. So today we'll be reviewing the Gem 80. Shut up and take my money. Before we get started, I would like you guys to know a few things. One is we have a giveaway going on on my website. We're doing a giveaway for the Otemu Silent Peaches. You know, those are my favorite silent switches right now, so. And the other thing is this month's monthly wallpaper did release. If you want to support the channel, you can buy the Elite version for $2. You know, nothing crazy. Thanks to Nufi for sending this keyboard out to me so I could do this review. Use code SAUCE for 10% off. So let's get started. So Nufi was nice enough to send me some keycaps, MSA profile keycaps, and also these raspberry switches. I'm really happy with the switches that they gave me, but I do have a downside that I will mention later on. And this is the first time I'm trying MSA profile keycaps. I've tried SA profile keycaps and I like them, but MSA is something new to me. I did end up liking it though. So we'll unbox the Gem 80 and I'll show you everything inside of it. If you get the wired version, it is 150, but if you get the tri mode version and then add on keycaps and switches, it becomes 200. The add-ons are about $15 each, so the switches are $15 and then the keycaps were $15. In the box, it comes with so many different ways to mount this keyboard. And it does come with a switch and keycap puller, a USB-C braided and coiled cable, a screwdriver and a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Now let's take a look at the Gem 80. I'm really excited about this keyboard because it's half aluminum and half plastic. I don't know exactly what type of plastic, but it's plastic at the bottom. It's a really exciting experience trying something new, you know? So this is a TKL keyboard with 88 keys. The battery is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It has RGB and it has several mounting options. It has QMK and VIA support and is a 1000 Hertz polling rate. Although the bottom is plastic, you expect it to feel cheap, but it really feels like high quality at the bottom. It has these ridges and I, I don't know, it just feels higher quality than plastic. So here we're gonna take the keyboard apart. I'll show you all the parts of the Gem 80. There are different layers to it. Taking it apart is really easy, just 10 screws. You can't take off this Gem 80 little piece thing. I think that's pretty neat, nice. Here's a quick snapshot of all the layers and then you'll see all the layers as I take it apart. There are three cables you need to connect to the PCB. I do wish it was only one or a magnet or something, but that's fine. And now let's talk about the switches. They do have other switches if you would like to look at those. These ones right here are the raspberry switches. They are linear switches, which are 46 gram switches. They are five pin, but the one downside to it is the top housing has no cutouts for the RGB. So if you do really care about RGB, you might want to stay away from these switches right here. It does come with a good amount of pre loop though. If you hand loop them, they probably will sound better, but I ended up not hand looping them. These switches are a collaboration with Gateron, so you should expect them to sound really good. Gateron makes really good switches. All the specs will be on the screen. 
On to the keycaps, I have never tried MSA profile keycaps, so this is new to me. I do think the packaging was really nice, and these keycaps are part of the Gem series. I love that it matches the Gem 80. They are double shot PBT keycaps, and I measured the thickness at 1.5 millimeters. The spacebar does come with this silicone thing, and now let's put the keyboard together. As you can see, you can get away with the FR4 plate with this keyboard. They do have extra plates if you wanted to try those. Uh, later on, we'll try it with the polycarbonate plate and the aluminum plate. Right now, I'm gonna show you what the different mounds sound like. I ended up liking how the silicone strips feel more. This right here is not really about the sound test, it's more so about how it feels, because I personally didn't hear a huge sound difference. The plates give it more of a sound difference than the mounts. Now here's where I tried a silicone bean with the hardness of 70. There is another one with a hardness of 30, which is a bit softer. And now I'm going to try the silicone bean with the hardness of 30. As you can see, it's really easy to take this keyboard apart and modify it.
and I did end up liking the FR4 plate more than the PC plate and the aluminum plate. So I think I'll stick with the FR4 plate. So on the website, as you can see, if you get the wired only, it's 150. If you get the tri mode, it's 170. And then if you, you can pick your different colors, uh, if you add some switches like the the raspberry switches, it's $15 add-on. Keycaps, if you get the theme keycaps, it'll come with like what's on the image. So for my final thoughts on this keyboard, I really do like the build quality of this keyboard. It feels more on like the luxury end. It, it doesn't feel like a cheap gaming keyboard looking to be flashy and stuff. It just feels elegant, if, if I must say, right? Um, I will mod this keyboard later on and change out the switches and the keycaps. I'm really impressed with the switches, although you can't see through them with the RGB. I'm happy with the way they feel. So if I'm using it on the keyboard that doesn't have RGB, I'll be more happy with it. So possibly we'll take those switches out and put it on a different keyboard. Uh, Nufi, please uh, make some cutout holes for the, for the switches, especially on an RGB keyboard. Come on guys. Anyway, I do love the sound of the keyboard. It is a Thocky keyboard and it's stock Thocky. I didn't add any tape mod. I didn't do anything crazy to it. I didn't even lube the stabilizers. I usually would have to lube the stabilizers, but I didn't even lube the stabilizers and it still sounded good. And the switches, those were stock switches. Everything you heard is stock. I will mod this keyboard later on in a different video. If you would like to see that, go ahead and comment below and uh, let me know. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below. Do you want to get the Gem 80? As I mentioned earlier, I do have a giveaway going on on my website. If you would like to enter, go to my website. Hit that like button for more giveaways. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.